how long can this crazy market keep up? Are we going to see a crash? Well, no one knows for sure, but one thing we do know is buyers are paying crazy prices for homes right now. And why is this? Well, let's take a look at some of these stats. So if you take a look at this first chart, this is our inventory chart. So in Sacramento, Placer and El Dorado County, you will see the light green indicates that right now we only have 1,315 homes for sale as opposed to last year at this time, we had 2,949 homes for sale. And if you look at the red, you're gonna see last month we had 2,569 homes go pending. As compared to last year, we had 1,577. And then in the dark green, you'll see the homes that sold and closed. We had 2,279 homes closed compared to 1,523. So basically what we have is we have half of the inventory with twice of the buyer demand. Now this does not include new home construction. New home construction has gone up significantly as well as lumber. Lumber has gone up over 171% and this is a 13 year high. For example, one sheet of OSB plywood now I took a look last week, it was $66 for a sheet of OSB plywood. Compared to a year ago, it was probably 10 bucks. This is also why there's low inventory and prices are going up. And this next chart indicates the price per square foot. And you can see how it's gone up significantly. Last year, homes were selling at $254 price per square foot on average. Now they're selling at on average $307 per square foot. And we have had somewhere between a 20 and a 35% appreciation over the course of the last year. Now, of course, this depends on the price range and the neighborhood. This next chart indicates list price to closing ratio. And you can see homes are selling on average 104% of the list price. Now in some areas we are seeing multiple offers and bidding wars going from 20 up to 200,000 over the list price. In fact, I sold a home for a lady in Carmichael a few months ago. It went for 200,000 over the list price. It's just crazy. And the next chart indicates the month's worth of inventory. Right now, you can see we only have 0.6 months worth of inventory. We are seeing more inventory coming on the market, but seasonally, this is common. And one of the reasons that a market is so tight right now is, of course, because of COVID. A lot of people took their home off the market. They don't want to sell, so that makes the inventory tight. And then coupled with that, we have the extremely low interest rates, so there's a lot of buyer demand. So how long will this continue? Well, no one knows for sure, but most forecasters are saying that we do have a three or a four year run of appreciation. Now we're not gonna see the 20 to 35% appreciation that we have had in the past, but we will see a nice healthy appreciation. So what does this mean if you're a buyer or a seller? Well, if you're a buyer, take advantage of these low interest rates. You will have to be patient. There is inventory, homes are selling, you will find a home. Take advantage of the low rates. If you're a seller, I've never seen a hotter seller's market in my lifetime. If it meets with your lifestyle, take advantage of this hot market that we have with the appreciation. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out either tomdaves.com or call me at 855-TOM-DAVES. Thanks so much and have a good day.